Well done, um, Leonard. I was about to say Wit, but Wit contributed nothing to that situation. It's got timber and stone. Hi, everyone, and welcome to episode 15 of Timber and Stone. I'm glad you guys are here. Uh, let's get to it. Uh, a, a merchant has arrived and is coming our way because we wish to barter. We wish to, buy, we wish, we wish to purchase a the stone from you, sir. Now, which end did he come in on? Oh, nuts. See, uh, I want somebody to come in over our sky bridge just so I stop panicking about it. Like, I have, I have no idea if that sky bridge even works. Uh, let's see. Wit, as per usual, is just hanging out, chilling, cooling, minding his own business, I guess. Uh, we got down, we dipped down pretty low uh, stone-wise, so I converted some of our builders back to miners, and Adam, who was also a builder, I turned him back into a wood chopper so we can get a little more wood. I think I've got, yeah, just, yeah, I've got about four trees designated to come down. Um, and hopefully this, this merchant who is on his, his or her way, uh, I assume that's a dude. Uh, you know, it's, I, where did women ever sport the feather in their cap kind of look? I, I don't know that they did. And I'm, I'm curious now, uh, if, if somebody here knows, hop down in the comments, let me know. Also hop down in the comments and let me know if you want to be a, if you want your name to be on one of these settlers and I will yell at them constantly. <laughs> yeah. Just, just let me know down in the comments. It'll be fine. Okay. You want to buy all of our cotton for one coin? Sure. What else you got? How many uh, you want to buy a bunch of our flax fiber, half of our flax fiber for two coins. Whatever. Next. Come on. How many coins do we have? I think coins are processed. We've got 23 coins. We should be able to buy a ton of stone. And we can get everybody back to building the, the wall and it'll be all good again. Come on, come on, you can do it. Just, I want to, let's see, five rope for one coin. Uh, that seems like a ripoff to me. Self, does it seem like a ripoff to anybody else? Um, yeah, whatever, we've got plenty of uh, fiber, so sure. What are you doing, Marshall? Who are you? You're a blacksmith. Wait, do we have any leather? Raw materials. Let's see, that's animal hide. Oh, leathers are processed. We've got 10 leather. All right, so I believe weapons. We had a... Did somebody already grab the gladius? Um, so I think somebody grabbed the gladius already. All right, well, we're going to make one extra. 302 stone for 16 coin. That's better than last time. Well done, um, Leonard. I was about to say Wit, but Wit contributed nothing to that situation. Where did, where did Marshall just go? All right, Marshall, are you hiding? Yeah, oh yeah, he's making that sword. Good man. All right, and our farmer slash tailor, Scarlet, is just losing her mind, making some boots. Doing stuff like that, contributing. Everybody's working hard. Wit. Everybody should be working hard. Wit. You're not. I'm just saying. I mean, I'm not saying. I'm just saying, if you know what I mean. All right. So we got a bunch of stone. So all those people we just decided to be miners. Guess what? Go back to building. Um, Adam, we will let finish chopping wood before we send him back. And 557 isn't a ton, so... We'll probably only need those four builders to do it. All right. So at the end of last episode, our big giant wall that is probably way too big and is actually probably going to ensure the downfall of our colony. Uh, how's that for confidence? It connected to the edge of the map on this side. So anything that spawns up here is going to have to walk all the way over this way, under there, over this way, keep going over this way to this end of the wall where we've got Mary Moore still out there building 
And we are getting really close to this edge of the map. Um, and let's see, do the design. Ah, yes, they did. <laughs> see there, instead of chopping this tree down, I just decided, you know what? Let's just build a wall around it. That'll be fine. <laughs> so hopefully, maybe during the next night, that'll get finished. That's the hope. That is the current hope, I think. All right. So things are going pretty, pretty well. Um, she is still making boots. Wowee. It's because she... Oh, wait. I keep, I keep forgetting that you can't check inventory by clicking on that. Resources. Hand tools. We don't have any shears. What about sharp shears. Okay, actually, our... Oh, no, our blacksmith is only... Marshall, you are a level 8 blacksmith. You disappoint me, sir. You disappoint me. All right, well, we're supposed to maintain one in storage. So... Wit. Where's Wit? Wit, I'm, I'm betting Wit has the... Uh, has the shears on him, because it's sort of a, a hurting thing. No, he doesn't. Do you have shears and I missed it? You must have. You have to have shears. Yeah, they're in your hand. Derp. Um, yeah, I'm good at this game. You know, you guys know I'm good at this game, right? Everybody, of course. I'm, I'm like the best at this game ever. You guys know that. What else? Okay, wit going up in level. Uh, I'll tell you what. Who's going up in level quite a bit? Scarlet. She's a level 11 tailor already, and she hasn't, like, she's been a farmer since pretty much when she got here. And she's only level 11 at that, and about maybe halfway through did I start having her tailoring things. And she is just burning through that. Let's see. Marshall, what are you up to, buddy? Oh, he's getting rid of the gladius. Well done. All right, let's put you back to a stonemason just in case people need more tools. And you, my dear, are just going to town on those boots. Uh, how many how many boots are we supposed to have here? Armor. Oh, I guess is are is she making patent? Patents, patents, or crafting leather boots? Does that take forever? That must take for yeah. It looks like it takes forever. That's all very confusing. All right, then, Marshall. You got nothing to do. What if you... Do you have anything you can carpent? Okay, Adam, we are at 91 resources. So, unit list. Adam, we need you to chop wood no more. Go build. Build well, my friend. Build well. And then pretty soon we'll probably have to switch a couple people back to mining. Because we're, we're chewing through that stone quickly and that's that's gratifying one it's not in our inventory to kind of inflate our our wealth and two it means the stone going out means this thing is going up and that is awesome sauce that is thoroughly awesome sauce so yeah it looks like we're actually going to get that done this episode well hot diggity dog uh, <laughs> we've got another immigrant, which is good, I guess. Maybe he's got a knife. Knives are things. Uh, he's a level three forager, which we don't care about. Um, what could you do? What, what, what sort of services could you provide, sir? Um, oh, we will obviously accept you and let's get up to where we can actually see the world. Ru oh, wait, I don't want you to forage, sir. Um, what do we want you to do, actually? Okay, maintain an inventory. As always, we're going to do a club and a sword until we're sure, certain he has a sword. Light helm, light boots, and then his tools he can just find wherever. Uh, let's see, he's level 3 blacksmith, level 3 farmer. See, do we make him, we can make him an engineer and sort of a permanent infantry. 
yeah, I think I think we're gonna I think we're gonna go for that. So, engineer first, right, and then what we want you to build things, construction. No, not construction. Uh, objects, military. Not an arch. Okay, let's see. He's only level two, so we'll just have him train for a little bit. Um, and then when he's level three, we'll have him build some training dummies, and then we'll have him start beating up those training dummies. Good, good, good. And then we'll actually have a, like a semi-professional soldier. Uh, because if, if we look at our unit list, and Marshall, first, what are you doing? You're unable to carpent well. Let's make you a stonemason because reasons. All right, so if we look down our infantry list, like everybody's, like our best infantry guy's like a level four, which is kind of pathetic. So our engineer, I think we're gonna have him build a bunch of uh, combat targets, and then we'll take turns having our infantry people become infantry, and we'll just have them train. And then that way we should hopefully have a uh, slightly more militarily adroit fighting force. That that sounds good. Marshall, you also can't do anything with being a stonemason. Let's refuel these just because it's dark at night. And now, can you, is there, you, there there's now blacksmithery for you to do. Storage. Uh, metals, okay. Design. Oh, I know what those are. Um, object storage, those are mine carts. Or an ingot stack. It costs ingots to make an ingot stack. Well, I'm sure that looks great. I don't care. Um, so let's go ahead and just drop a minecart there for now. I'm trying to keep all of our buildings like kind of in the center as possible. One, because it's safer. Because uh, it kind of clusters everything together. And then it'll be easier to kind of clear this out if we get to the point where we can start doing creative building. And we can, you know, this is kind of the, the functional space. And we start building creatively out here until we can move some of this out. Ooh, 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 look at, look at our wall. Look at our wall. Look at it. It's almost done. Please tell me there is not somebody on the other side. Oh my God, I think there's somebody on the other side. Okay, back up. Oh, let me just back up. Do I see anybody on the other side? I don't. Okay, I think we're okay. Excellent. Excellent, well done all of you. Unless, that's not moving. Somebody's, somebody over there, oh no. Let's see, we'll see in a second. As she finishes up the wall. Everybody, what are you doing? There's nothing left to put up over here. Thank you. Yeah, everybody walk away for a little bit. Okay, okay, I'm I'm now relatively certain that there is nobody up there stuck. Bonus. Now I just, okay, Ronald is a level three engineer. Where is our, there's our base. Excellent. So let's jump to, oh, that's the wrong one. Ronald, 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 jump to you. Actually, we don't need to. Objects, military, training dummy. We'll just make this kind of the training area. What do you mean we don't have the twine? We need twine. All right, so you, you're making an arming cap. Do we have twine on the menu? Resources. Process materials. We'll just actually let her go. Twine. Well, we're supposed to maintain a 
buttload in storage, but it seems like she's got other things she's trying to do, uh, such as the arming cap. Alright, well, making cloth. I wish you would make twine. Twine would be better. Okay, well, actually, you know what? Hey, um, what's his name? Ronald, guess what you're going to do now? You're going to make your own twine because you are self-reliant. Taylor, 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 Taylor. Oh, he needs to be level two. No, you have to be level two to make it out of... All right, well, can you make it out of... I guess, yeah, we've got some, some animal fur, which should be fine. Okay, guys, that's great. I think we're going to wrap up the episode here. Ronald's going to get to work on this. And then between episodes, I am going to get the design in or like lay out our next uh, portion of the wall. That's going to take some just finicky kind of digging and fluffing and farting around. So I don't want to do that on camera. But thank you, guys. I... This is actually kind of scary. I sort of have hope <laughs> that we're going to survive and this is going to be awesome, but I'm still 70% sure that our colony is doomed and will be wiped out in short order. <laughs> Either way, it should be fun. Okay, guys, thank you for tuning in to episode 15 of the Casually Average Gamer Plays Time Rich Stone. It's amazing. Uh, I hope you guys have a great week. I'll talk to you next time.